Hey YouTube, welcome back. Uh, we're back with the 2511. This time we're going to be taking the left hand side cover off and uh, showing you uh, how to file down the keyway to set the timing, uh, to advance the timing and give you a little bit, uh, a little bit of top end power with this saw. So I'm going to go back to cheating with my impact and uh, go ahead and pull these side cover bolts off. Alrighty. When you pull your side cover off, uh, last time I did this, I took the wrap handle off, but you do not have to do that. Um, but there is a little shim that goes in the uh, chain brake side. And that little shim will eventually pop out. So, Better safe than sorry. It's better to be a little proactive and get that out first. Drop down your little container of parts. All right, next thing is uh, removing the flywheel. All right, to get started taking the flywheel off, uh, you're gonna need a 12 millimeter socket and I'm just gonna put it on an extension. This one is not right hand threads, so this will be lefty loosey. Cut off, and then tasked with the challenge of getting your flywheel off. Usually use a small pry bar. Reach in underneath here and give it a little just a little pry ever so gently. The entire frame of this saw is, uh, is all made of plastic. So spin it a little bit, pry on it, spin it a little bit, pry on it, and eventually come out. All right, so I found it a little bit easier to go ahead and uh, pull this uh, little coil pack off and use the metal on the uh, motor as kind of a prying surface, just real gently pry against that flywheel as you turn it and boom, came loose just like that. Take the nut the rest of the way off and then your flywheel is free to come off. That's the little key right there that we're, that we're gonna remove and file down this little, little piece right here. All right, once you get that little key out, this is what it's gonna look like. It's kind of flat on one side, round on the other. Once you got that out, you want to get a pair of vice grips, a couple of good files, and a uh, caliper. Make sure you take your uh, initial measurement. I'm going to take off 35 one thousandths. That's what our goal measurement is going to be. We're all done. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Just doing some filing on this. Once you've reached your goal measurement, go ahead and reinstall. All right, once you get your, uh, your key reinstalled into the keyway on the shaft, you're ready to put your flywheel back on. 
make sure that you uh, set the flywheel in place. And uh, before you put that nut on, there's going to be a little bit of play in it now. So to get that, that forward timing that you're looking for, you're going to want to actually shift it a little bit uh, counterclockwise here before you're reinstalling that nut. Make sure that it's seated all the way counterclockwise. Quick little uh dugga with the impact and start putting everything back together. I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh this coil mounted back up where it goes and uh start putting this side cover back on. So there we go, we're all done. That's the timing advance for the uh, CS2511T.